Yo, it's Boxing Antics. I'm back again with another video. Yo, listen, man. Saturday night was an amazing fight. I'm sure it was more or less leading up to Sunday morning, if you know what I mean. Terence Bud Crawford versus Sean Porter. Listen, man. It was a hell of a fight. It was an amazing fight. It was electric. Packed house arena. You understand? We're full of people. Finally. Yeah? Now, this fight was a very competitive. And I expected the way uh, to turn out. The way uh, Sean Paul came in, man, he was rough and rugged. And uh, he came in like a pit bull. You understand? The dude had no flipping leash on him. So, he gave amazing performance. You understand? Sean Porter, even though he didn't look at uh, look at his best, but he did what he can. And he did frustrate Terence Bud Crawford throughout up until 10 uh, round. You understand? Because, uh, listen man, Sean is a dog. Sean came in to fight. Sean took uh, Bud Crawford Rhythm The pace The game plan And Bud had to adjust And come up with A new strategy To able to capitalise Sean Porter Listen Regardless what you man say Bud is pound for pound 38 wins 31 knockout Or is it sorry 38 wins 29 KOs and still undefeated the free weight champion. Yeah, then you got Sean Potter, the former <laughs> champion. Yeah, held IBF and the WBC. And boy, he did what he can, man, with 31 wins, uh, with 17 KOs and four losses on his record. Listen, regardless. What you guys say, man, Sean Porter arguably has one of the best resume in a welterweight division. And Bud, toughest test, the best opponents he had up until this date. That was against Sean Porter. Other than that, Bud resume is dog shit. Let's be honest. Yeah, let's keep it real here. I ain't gonna be sugarcoating just cause he's uh, a pound for pound on my list over Canelo because Canelo did what he can, but he's a drug cheat at the end of the day. So the drug cheat do not come in my category at the moment. Yeah, that's why I put Bud on my pound for pound list. Uh, this fight was so competitive, man. It was touch and go. It was oohs and ahs. This crowd was going wild and out. Crazy. Bud did it for the Omaha. He did it for these people. He came in. He made sure he came in with his best performance. Uh, showed his attribute and skills. Why he's number one. Pound for pound. King in this division. You understand? Yeah? Man, listen. The fight was very close. A lot of people had uh, Sean Porter up on the scorecard. Pulled by one or two rounds. Some people had barred either way. It couldn't have gone either way. You understand? Because I believe, heart and heart, Sean Porter's dad. Yeah? I know you man's not going to like this. I think the fight was rigged. The fight was fixed. Because Sean Porter's dad, was nothing but dogs bollocks in that flipping corner. Yeah. He he, he all of a sudden he kinda just pulled down Sean Porter's skirt down and he saw his son didn't have no dick. He thought his son had a flipping pussy in there. So he thought, you know what, that's it. Nah nah, that's it. Game over. I'm gonna throw the towel and that's it, I'm gonna wave it. And yo, listen, the ref was like, what the heck? You you, you serious? Because Sean Paul wasn't hurt. That first knockdown it was more like a flash knockdown. I think it was a, uh, it was a looping right uh, hand. Yeah, connected on Sean Paul's head. Lost the balance. He went down. Fair enough. You know what? Sean Paul is a dog. He got back up. You understand? 
He was pissed. He was crazy. You know, he's mad. But you know what? He got back up like we expected him to do. Because he's a dog in there. He gave up at all without a fight. Yeah? The second knockdown, I think he caught him with a, a left hook. And that's when uh, the second time he went down to canvas. And listen, Sean Porter was punching yeah, the canvas. Like he was so pissed and angry. Why the heck did I do this mistake? Lunging in, coming in like a pit bull. I should stay composed and relaxed and calmed in there. But the speed got the best of him. You understand? And that's when uh, Bud saw the opportunity as he was lunging in. Boom! Connected with the left hook and he went down. Yet he was punching the canvas like he was mad. And he wasn't wobble at all. He wasn't shaking at all. He wasn't hurt at all. He got back right up again and the ref said, are you okay? Are you, are you, are you okay to continue? Sean looked at his eyes. The ref I said, yes. I'm a dog in there. Don't you know? I'm a pit bull without a leash. Don't you know? I don't give up without a fight. And then Bud came in. Smelled the blood before he could go straight in and capitalise on that. But you guess what happened? You got Kenny Porter who rigged the fight. He probably had a bet, a huge bet. You know what? My son's going to go down in the 10th round. Boom, I'm going to walk away with the money. You know, they always say the house always wins, right? But guess what? Kenny Porter won that fight. He walked out with a bag. And all you mans out there who placed a huge bet on this fight thinking Sean Porter was going to go out there and smoke Bud. But guess what? You mans lost. The house took your money. Yeah? Kenny took your money. The fight was fucking rigged, man. Kenny, more or less... <sighs> Kenny robbed Terence Bud Crawford from uh, getting a sensational knockout. Emphatic knockout. There was only two more rounds to go. He could have just let that go. Because Sean wanted to go out there and fight to the end. Go out on his shield. Make the best what he can. Give everything he can before his retirement. And that's how he wanted to go out. Whether if he lost or not. Either way, he wanted to go out there and say, you know what, I retired. I went all the way to a 12th round. It was a scorecard. Fair enough, I lost. But yo, Kenny Porter, I'm disgusted with Kenny Porter. Kenny Porter rigged the fight. Kenny Porter robbed Terence Bud Crawford from, that, from getting emphatic wins. Yeah? Getting that emphatic knockout. Getting that spectacular knockout. Because you don't know. You, know, you may never know. Well, in fact, we will, we will never know. We can always assume. Because Sean Porter announced his retirement. Everybody's talking about Kenny Porter. Even Errol Spence came and said, Yo, listen, if that was my dad, I wouldn't pay him at all. Not even a penny. Because he stopped the fight too early. Even Andre Berto came out and said, yo, Kenny Paul is a sucker for this. Embarrassing his son. That was a shamble. It was dog's bollocks. Because Sean even said himself. I didn't expect it. Did you feel that you were in a condition to continue in this fight? Uh, yes. Uh... I want to continue. So there's a lot of shit was going on there. Both parties, Sean and Kenny, they weren't in the same level. Kenny said, I saw my son getting hurt. I thought, you know what, come out, throw in the white towel, because I didn't want him to go out like that, get beaten up like that. But yet Sean said himself, I was fine. I wasn't hurt. I could have gone for ten, uh, another two more rounds. It is what it is, man. Kenny, you dog's bollocks. Kenny, listen. Your son's got bollocks. Your son ain't a sissy. 
I don't know why he did this in the 10th round. All of a sudden, he pulled down his skirt and realized he ain't got no dick. And he thought, you know, I'm going to wave the flag. Nah, because you rigged the fight. I don't give a monkeys what you man say. I'm not discrediting Bud's uh, performance, his win. I respect that because it's not Bud's fault. And I'm pretty sure Bud wouldn't want to go all the way to a 12th round or carry on the fight and get the emphatic flipping finish. Get that finesse done on his resume. Let people know, let the whole world see how he knocked out Sean Porter. Fashion really. Yeah, but it's a shame. You know, he couldn't get that. It was a stoppage by Kenny Porter, you understand? And my man literally robbed Terrence Brad Crawford. He embarrassed his son, Sean Porter. But yeah, man, Sean did what he can. Sean, you know, arguably he was going to go down as a Hall of Famer. You know, he gave us some amazing fights. You understand? He was a dog. He fought against Keith Furman. He fought Kel Brook. EJ. And uh, who else, man? There's, there's, there's so many, man, to name. Do you understand? And those are the names that we know. Bud's best performance I mean, to be honest, Bud didn't look great either. Bud looked shit as well. You understand? He was struggling. He was frustrated. But up to this now, uh, to this date, man, his best uh, opponent is Sean Porter. Now, let's see. Let's get the fight happening. Let's make this fight. Bud Crawford versus EJ. Big fish. Because now you have left top rank, the dinosaur Aram. You're a free agent now. Let's make this fight happen. Because it's been spewing, marinating business. Forget all this marination, you understand? Let's get this fight happening now. Man, smash the like, man. Or smash the dislike button, man. Either way, I don't give a monkeys what you man say. Because that this fight was fucking rigged. It was fixed. And Kenny Porter, you know what, man? Just go somewhere and hide, man. Go go behind the bush and hide and don't show your face ever again. Yeah? Because you're disgusted. You know, you're embarrassing. How you managed to walk away with that bag. Winning the bet. The fight was rigged and it's fixed. Boxing antique. I'm out. Bless family.